My work has always been about the fact that things are more than just what they first appear, and that the more you engage, the more you learn and discover about each other and about ourselves. The one truthiness shines a light on how we each think and how we are all in the picture together. Most of us can't see past the worldviews we're embedded in. We think that our truth is the truth, the one truthiness. Who owns it? Who owns the truth? Wow, that's, the, I mean, who owns truth? Ooh. <laughs> Charlie's work is a, a metaphor for the world we live in, where everyone brings their perspective, their opinion, their worldview. It is a metaphor for the way that we co-create the world all at the same time. The first thing you notice when you walk in the room is it's a dim room and it's filled with the smell of beeswax. And in the center of the stage is a big glass illuminated clear panel. Everything's transparent, it's a clear slate. The structure of the piece is inspired by a Passover Seder. There's a book and it gets passed from person to person and each person reads a line or a paragraph or a short quote and together the story is told. The text ranged from a variety of sources, including tweets, historical passages, personal accounts. And I think that that's what inspired me to not only participate fully in that experience, but to also continue to reflect on that experience subsequently. And these thoughts are put in conversation with one another. And just like us, the thoughts don't always agree with each other. Some of them are loud and strident. Some of them are begging to be seen, to be heard. And in response to that text, I am painting. And you'll see from nothing, each brushstroke grow, the painting grow. And then Charlie's through painting, and she turns the canvas around. There's an image that none of us could see. So Charlie's perspective isn't our perspective. Every brushstroke doesn't obscure the one that came before it, it adds to it. One story competes with another story, or maybe it changes your understanding of it. The piece behind me is a model of that, so that we have a very neutral person in front. But as the lights come up behind, and you see the story behind the surface, an idea of what are the struggles that that person may have gone through that you don't know until you look twice. What I saw was a completely interactive gestalt that allowed for personal expression that was immediately transformed into a visual art form. When Charlie first asked me if I was interested in collaborating, I immediately responded, yes! We're in the midst of conversations in which perhaps there is no right or wrong. There's your right, your wrong, my right, my wrong. This is the kind of piece of work that can start important conversations in which we might intentionally find the things that bind us. We each have our own truth. So even if my truth could completely conflicts with your truth, they're still happening in the same place at the same time. So maybe we should deal with that.